Hi, this is Mrs. LaBarbera. This is AP Physics Mechanics C. Today, I'm going to talk about a question regarding air resistance. A small body of mass m located near the Earth's surface falls from rest in the Earth's gravitational field. Acting on the body is a resistive force of magnitude kmv, where k is constant and v is the speed of the body. A. On the diagram below, draw and identify all of the forces acting on the body as it falls. So we know when an object in air, there's definitely gravity. Gravity is downward, which is mg. In this case, we also know there is a resistive force. The magnitude is kmv, so there is upward force. It's called kmv, and v is the speed. We know it's upward because it's resisting for it to fall. Part B. Write a differential equation that represents Newton's second law for this situation. We know Newton's second law is the sum of the force equals to m a, and sum of the force is the sum of m g and k m v. In this case, I'm going to have down as positive. The reason I'm doing that is because acceleration is downward. So acceleration. Is downward, so I have net force and acceleration in the same direction. I use downward as positive, so I will have mg minus kmv equals to ma. In this case, all the m cancels, so you'll have to write a differential equation. Differential equation means you have to change a, so g minus k. Times v equals to dv over dt. That is the differential equation. Okay, this is it. Lastly, you have to determine the terminal speed. That what does terminal speed mean? Terminal speed in the uh implies acceleration equals to zero. That means at a terminal speed, g minus k v t. Has to be zero, and this gives you v t has to be g divided by k. This is the terminal speed. Okay, that's that. Now take a look at the next part. Ah,、uh, same question. Now we have to integrate the differential equation once to obtain. An expression for the speed v as a function of time. Use the condition that v equals zero when t equals zero. So let's go back to our differential equation. So let's go back to our original differential equation, which is g g minus k v equals to d v over d t. I'm going to switch it around. I'm going to combine all the terms with v, with dv, and move dt to the other side. So I ended up with dt equals to one over g minus kv dv. So I just need to integrate this equation. So I put integrate sign here. T is from zero to t. V is from zero to v. Because it tells you at t equals to zero, v equals to zero. So we know on the left side the integrate on left side is just t. On the right side we have a problem because this g and k v and this one is v. They are not the same. To make them the same,、uh, we use a trick. It's called u sub. So let's let u. We're going to use let u equals to g minus k v. Now we'll change this just to u. Now what is d u? D u g equals to zero, right? Minus k is constant, just k d v. So we can solve for d v. D v is negative one over k d u. Now we're going to substitute here. On the left hand is T on the right hand, you integrate from zero to v one over u 
times dv dv is negative 1 over k du we know k is constant so this becomes negative 1 over k Z this is integrate sign 0 to v 1 over u du we know this 1 over x dx that is the log the natural log so t equals to this now i'm going to erase the rest so we have more room to work okay so from here i'm going to uh, multiply negative k one uh, multiply negative k on both sides so I will have negative kt this side is just log u what is u u we said u equals to g minus kv and where is v from 0 to v so that's right again kt equals to log what v equals to v this is just g minus kv minus log n ln of g because when v equals to zero the second part becomes zero for the subtraction of log you will have ln g minus kv over g you just simply divide it and that equals to negative kt okay i'm just moving the kt to that side right here okay so what does this give to you let me uh, have to give you more room delete that so this is ln this is really e right this is e so we have g minus kv divided by g equals to e negative kt so you can solve for v here g minus kv equals to g e negative kt you can uh, add kv whatever you have to do you you should have this v equals to g over k 1 minus e negative kt and that should be your solution right here so what i did is i add kv k times v on both sides and subtracted g minus a uh, g to the power of negative kt on both sides and then i factoring the g out then divided by both sides by k so this is the answer okay last one on the axis provided below draw a graph of speed v as a function of time so we know let's take a look we know this object is going down right and we have a um, air resistance up so that means acceleration is downward it's getting smaller and smaller it finally becomes zero acceleration becomes zero that means v has the maximum value so your v would be small and bigger and bigger and bigger so v has maximum value this is v here is a a becomes zero and v has maximum value let's just erase this and this is your v v v v okay so v starts from zero then you'll have terminal speed that's your maximum value so acceleration is smaller and smaller so the graph looks like this your slope slope equals to acceleration so slope should decrease your slope will decrease so your slope is become smaller and smaller eventually it's flattening out that means slope equals to zero acceleration equals to zero terminal velocity has been reached okay that's terminal velocity so that is your graph should it look like okay that's it for today i hope it helps see you next time thanks for watching